The equipment you'll need to perform reproducible jointing of Durapipe PVCU includes pipe cutter, chamfering tool, tape measure and pencil, lint-free cloth to wipe off excess cement, HCR36 chemically resistant solvent cement, HCR36 chemically resistant cleaner, paintbrush and solvent resistant gloves. For certain chemical concentrations, HCR36 chemically resistant cement and HCR cleaner may be required for joining Durapipe PVCU pipework. For a guide on solvent cement suitability, please refer to the Durapipe PVCU technical brochure. Whenever you're jointing using solvent cement, it's recommended to wear the appropriate PPE. It's important to make sure the pipe is cut clean and square. A wheel cutter is best for this job. However, as an alternative, a carpenter's saw could be used, as long as any swarf that's created is removed. A saw is often used on larger diameter pipes. Chamfer the end of the pipe using an appropriate chamfering tool or a coarse file. For optimal jointing, the chamfer should be approximately 45 degrees. Measure the insertion depth of the fitting, in this case 40 millimetres. Then add a known distance onto this measurement and mark this onto the pipe with a pencil. Once the joint is finished, this mark will show if the pipe has been fully inserted. In order to check the thickness of cement required, try fit the pipe into the fittings as shown. The pipe should enter into the fitting easily. Ensure the joint surfaces are clean and free from moisture. Then clean all surfaces, both on the pipe and the fitting, thoroughly with HCR36 cleaner using a lint-free cloth or paper towel. Before applying the cement, it's important to stir thoroughly with an appropriate tool. The cement should run off the tool as shown. Using an appropriate sized brush, apply cement to the fitting with a thin coat and apply a thicker coat to the pipe end, making sure to cover the entire joint surface with the cement. It's important to apply the cement quickly to enable assembly without excessive force being required. If HCR36 is required to fill a larger gap, please allow 30 seconds before applying a second or third coat to the pipe only. Immediately after the application of cement, push the pipe fully home into the fitting and hold for a few seconds. This time will be longer for larger sizes. Do not twist the pipe, but slight adjustment to the orientation of the fitting can be made immediately after insertion. Application of the correct quantity of solvent will result in a neat bead of cement around the neck. Any excess can be wiped away. Using the previous mark, check that the pipe has been fully inserted. Do not disturb the pipe for the initial setting time. For full drying time information, please consult the Durapipe PVCU technical brochure.